Welcome to our enlightening journey, where we will unravel the age-old conundrum of frugality versus splurging. As we delve deeper into this topic, we'll discover the true cost of living luxuriously. Are you a pin pincher, always on the lookout for ways to save a dime? Or are you a lavish spender, always indulging in the finer things in life? Whichever category you fall into, this video will unravel the pros and cons of both ways of life and reveal the true cost of living luxuriously. So sit back, relax, and join us on this enlightening journey as we unravel the mysteries of frugality v splurging and discover the true cost of living luxuriously. Number 1. What is frugality? Ah, uh, frugality, the delicate dance of stretching every penny to its absolute limit. It's the art of living within one's means and making every dollar count. Frugality is not just about cutting back on expenses, it's about finding smart ways to save money and investing in your future. Frugality is the secret ingredient to financial freedom. It allows you to save money, invest in your future, and have the freedom to do the things you love without the burden of debt. It's the wind beneath the wings of your financial aspirations. But how does one master the art of frugality? It's simple. Start by creating a budget, track your expenses, and find ways to save money on everyday items. For example, instead of buying expensive prepackaged meals, try cooking at home, or instead of buying a new car, consider purchasing a pre-owned one. Frugality is not about deprivation. It's about being mindful of your spending and making smart financial decisions. It's about finding the balance between enjoying life today and saving for tomorrow. Embrace frugality and watch as your bank account grows, your debt decreases, and your stress levels decrease. It's the ultimate win. Win situation. Number two, what is splurging? Splurging, the sweet siren song of temptation that calls out to us, tempting us to indulge in the finer things in life. It's the act of indulging in luxuries, whether it be designer clothes, fancy cars, or exotic vacations. Splurging can be a dangerous game. It can lead to financial stress and sometimes even regret. But let's be real, who doesn't love a little bit of luxury in their life? The key is to splurge responsibly. Responsible splurging is about setting a budget, staying within your means and avoiding impulse purchases. It's about taking the time to think about what you really want and saving up for it. For example, instead of buying a designer handbag on a whim, save up for it and make it a special purchase. Splurging can also be about investing in experiences rather than material possessions. Experiences like traveling, trying new foods, and making memories with loved ones are priceless and will always hold a special place in our hearts. Splurging can be a guilty pleasure, but with a little bit of planning and self-control, it can also be a responsible and enjoyable way to treat yourself. Remember, everything in moderation, including splurging. Number 3. The real cost of living luxuriously. As we've learned, frugality and splurging are two sides of the same coin. But what is the true cost of living luxuriously? Is it worth the price? Well, the answer is not as simple as black and white. The cost of living luxuriously varies from person to person and depends on their lifestyle, income, and expenses. But one thing is certain, it's not just about the monetary cost, it's also about the opportunity cost it's also about the opportunity cost. The opportunity cost is the cost of the next best alternative that must be forgone in order to pursue a certain action. For example, if you choose to splurge on a designer handbag, the opportunity cost could be saving that money for a down payment on a house. But let's not forget about the impact of inflation and taxes on our finances. Inflation erodes the purchasing power of money over time, and taxes can eat away at our savings. The real cost of living luxuriously is not just about the monetary cost, it's also about the opportunity cost and the long-term impact on our finances. It's about finding a balance between enjoying life today and saving for tomorrow. So, as we come to the end of this enlightening journey, take a moment to reflect on your own lifestyle choices and the true cost of living luxuriously. Remember, a balance of frugality and splurging is the key to a happy and financially stable life. Number 4. The Psychology of Frugality and Splurging We'll get to that in a second. I have a favor to ask of you. If you like this video so far, please subscribe to the channel. The mind is a powerful thing, and it plays a crucial role in our spending habits. 
The psychology of frugality and splurging is a delicate dance between our emotions and societal pressure. Frugality is often associated with being cheap or stingy, but in reality, it's about being smart with your money. It's about setting financial goals and making smart decisions to reach them. On the other hand, splurging is often seen as a way to treat oneself or keep up with societal standards. But it's important to remember that splurging should be done in moderation and within one's means. Societal pressure also plays a role in our spending habits. We often feel the need to keep up with the Joneses and have the latest gadgets, designer clothes, and fancy cars. But it's important to remember that true happiness doesn't come from material possessions. The key to finding a balance between frugality and splurging is to understand our emotions and societal pressures and make conscious decisions that align with our values and goals. Frugality and splurging are not mutually exclusive. They're two sides of the same coin, and it's all about finding the balance that works for you. Remember, true wealth is not about the amount of money you have, but about living a fulfilled life. Number five, how to balance frugality and splurging. Finding balance in life is a delicate dance, and the same goes for balancing frugality and splurging. It's a delicate equilibrium between being mindful of your spending and indulging in life's pleasure. The key to striking a balance is setting a budget and prioritizing your spending. For example, you can set a certain amount of money for splurging on luxuries and another for saving for long-term goals. Another way to balance frugality and splurging is to focus on experiences rather than material possessions. Experiences like traveling, trying new foods, and making memories with loved ones are priceless and can be achieved without breaking the bank. It's also important to remember that splurging doesn't have to be an extravagant purchase. It can be something as simple as treating yourself to a fancy dinner or a spa day. The key to balancing frugality and splurging is to be mindful of your spending, set a budget, and make conscious decisions that align with your values and goals. Frugality and splurging are not about deprivation or indulgence. It's about finding the equilibrium that works for you and living a life of balance and fulfillment. Number six, how to become more frugal. The road to financial freedom starts with the first step, and that step is frugality. The act of being mindful of your spending and making smart financial decisions. But where do you start? Start by creating a budget. It's the foundation of frugality. A budget allows you to see where your money is going and where you can cut back on expenses. Track your expenses. It's a simple yet effective way to become more frugal. By keeping track of your expenses, you can see where your money is going and make adjustments accordingly. Find ways to save money on everyday items. For example, instead of buying expensive prepackaged meals, try cooking at home. Instead of buying a new car, consider purchasing a pre-owned one. It's also important to remember that frugality is not about deprivation. It's about being mindful of your spending and making smart financial decisions. It's about finding the balance between enjoying life today and saving for tomorrow. Frugality is a journey, not a destination. It's about making small changes that add up to big savings over time. So take the first step and start your journey to financial freedom today. Number seven, how to splurge responsibly. Splurging, the sweet symphony of temptation that calls out to us, tempting us to indulge in the finer things in life. But as we all know, too much of a good thing can be bad. That's why it's essential to splurge responsibly. The first step to responsible splurging is set in a budget. Decide how much you can afford to spend on luxury items or experiences and stick to it. The second step is to avoid impulse purchases. Take the time to think about what you really want and save up for it. For example, instead of buying a designer handbag on a whim, save up for it and make it a special purchase. Another way to splurge responsibly is to invest in experiences rather than material possessions. Experiences like traveling, trying new foods, and making memories with loved ones are priceless and will always hold a special place in our hearts. Responsible splurging is about setting a budget, staying within your means, and avoiding impulse purchases. It's about taking the time to think about what you really want and making the most of splurging experiences. Splurging can be a guilty pleasure, but with a little bit of planning and self-control, it can also be a responsible and enjoyable way to treat yourself. Remember, everything in moderation, including splurging. We've explored the art of frugality, 
the allure of splurging and the true cost of living luxuriously, we've learned that frugality is not about deprivation. It's about being mindful of your spending and making smart financial decisions. It's about finding the balance between enjoying life today and saving for tomorrow. On the other hand, splurging is not about indulgence. It's about finding the equilibrium between treating yourself and staying within your means. We've also learned that the real cost of living luxuriously is not just about the monetary cost, but also about the opportunity cost and the long-term impact on our finances. The mind is a powerful thing, and it plays a crucial role in our spending habits. The psychology of frugality and splurging is a delicate dance between our emotions and societal pressure. But the journey doesn't end here. If you're ready to start improving your financial well-being, take action now. Check the first link in the description for our Frugal Living eBooks. You'll learn how to take control of your finances and start saving money without sacrificing your quality of life. From assessing your current financial situation and cutting costs, to increasing your income and living frugally without sacrificing enjoyment, we cover it all. Order our eBooks via the first link in the video description and start your journey towards financial stability and security. It's never too late to start making smart financial decisions.